the Patriot Front yesterday held a Central Committee meeting that was chaired by His Excellency President Edgar Chagwalungu, President of the party, to discuss a number of key issues. The Central Committee made a number of resolutions that include, among others, the following. One, the General Conference and nominations of candidates. As announced earlier, the Patriot Front holds its General Conference on the 10th and 11th of April 2021. The conference will elect the president of the party and members of the Central Committee. All those who are interested in contesting for the position of the party president should submit their application letters to the party secretary general from Wednesday, 7th April to Thursday, 8th April 2021, from 08 hours to 17 hours. Equally, those that want to contest for the position of members of the Central Committee should submit their application letters to the President from Monday, 5th April to Thursday, 8th April 2021. In this case, I will receive the letters on behalf of the President. The nomination fees for presidential candidates is 10,000 kwacha and 2,000 kwacha for candidates vying for the positions of member of the Central Committee. The conference shall be held virtually and the party shall strictly adhere to the COVID-19 health guidelines as prescribed by the Minister of Health. Central Committee, in accordance with Article 68 and 69 of the party constitution, did approve new standing orders and regulations to facilitate for the holding of the general conference virtually. Two, party presidential candidates. I am pleased to announce that the Central Committee of the Patriot Front has unanimously endorsed President Edgar Chagwalungu as our preferred candidate for the position of party president at the forthcoming general conference. This is in line with the democratic principles in accordance with Article 52 of the Party Constitution. I wish to note that the decision of the Central Committee does not stop anyone from contesting for the position of Party President. Anyone is free to contest. Voter verification. As you may be aware, the Electoral Commission of Zambia has extended the dates for voter verification. We wish to call upon all our members, specifically and all the voters in general, to take this process very seriously and ensure that they verify their details with the Electoral Commission of Zambia. That I think uh, PF has been a democratic party and as such people are elected through a ballot box and uh, the new leadership of Lusaka was elected by the provincial conference. And I expect everyone, whether he is in leadership or not in leadership here in Lusaka, as long as he's a member of the party, to respect the new leadership and the recognize the new leadership. Of course, uh, our party is popular, PF, and that's a more reason all the people that want to stand, they want to stand on PF. Because immediately you, you are adopted, you know that uh, you'll be in parliament. So that's the more reason everyone, if you look at Indola constituents, you have about 11 applicants. So the response is overwhelming everywhere. That means that the party is popular because we have delivered to the people of Zambia. And the people of Zambia are happy with the performance of the PF. regulations or guidelines that have been given to us by the Minister of Health. The number is about 1,556 now. And uh, each province will have about, about uh, 120. So the rest will be in the circle.
because the main event will be at Mulungushi International Conference Center. That's where we'll have the, 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 the official opening and, the, and the, the official closing of the conference. So all the deliberations will, will be there and the proceedings in all the 10 provinces. So we are set for the general conference. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.